People love chicken because of its well-earned reputation as a good source of protein. Ounce for ounce, this poultry is one of the leaner animal proteins out there. It is no surprise that Americans eat more chicken than any other protein, and for good reason. Shoppers across the nation love its affordability and versatility. Chicken has a high protein content which are the building blocks of muscles. Chicken is rich on vitamins. By eating chicken, you get the important B vitamins that strengthen the immune system improve the nervous system and generally give more energy in everyday life. And chicken is low on fat with a low content of saturated fat compared to red meat types such as beef and pork. This not only contributes to a healthy weight, but also benefits the cholesterol number. Here are some tips to help you make a nice healthy chicken meal. Your chicken breasts should not be thicker than 1 inch. If your chicken breasts are thick, Use a meat mallet or rolling pin to pound the chicken to a smaller and even thickness before cooking. If they're an even thickness, your chicken will cook more evenly. If not, the thinner parts can get dry and tough before the thicker parts are done. Also, because it'll help make the breasts a more even thickness, remove the tenders if they're still there. Your chicken is done when it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's about 1 and 1 quarter inches thick or less, you can also test for doneness by touch. A perfectly cooked chicken breast should feel firm, but not rock hard. Or you can use this method, going for medium for chicken. Do not stir or move the chicken breasts around while cooking. Let the chicken cook for 5 minutes or until you can easily flip them over. If there's any resistance when trying to flip them, give it another minute before trying again. If you are looking for really juicy chicken, marinate or brine the chicken before cooking. Marinades and brine solutions are really easy to make at home. A marinade is a liquid solution in which you soak foods, particularly meats, before cooking. A marinade adds flavor to foods and makes them more tender by beginning the breakdown process of cooking. This action can be due to acidic ingredients such as vinegar, wine, or fruit juice, or enzymatic components such as pineapple, papaya, guava, or ginger. The breakdown allows fluids and seasonings to enter the meat so it will maintain its moisture during grilling and not dry out as quickly. Marinades are particularly important and useful for grilling because of the high, intense heats produced by grills. These can result in the formation of harmful substances on the surface while cooking. An acidic marinade reduces the formation of these chemicals. Meats such as chicken breasts and pork loin are more likely to dry out on the grill and will benefit from a marinade to retain moisture. An example of a good basic marinade would be Italian dressing. Marinades can be store-bought or made at home very easily. When baking chicken breasts in the oven, try dry poach them. If you're cooking chicken breast, in the oven you should use a method called dry poaching. It involves covering the breasts with a piece of parchment paper or foil before placing it in the oven. This allows the chicken to baste in their own juices so they cook up to be tender and juicy. Internal temperature is the best indicator for doneness, typically you are told that chicken is safe to eat when its juices run clear, and the inside is no longer pink, and it registers at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the thickest part of the meat. Checking the temperature is really the only solid method knowing when your chicken is fully cooked. If you keep cooking it past 165 degrees Fahrenheit, the meat will most definitely dry out. So always use that as your best indicator. Do not take the skin off your chicken before cooking, whatever cut you choose, keep the skin on if you want the juiciest possible result. The skin is going to help it stay crispy, retain more fat and more juiciness. Roasting chicken with the skin on, and then removing the skin after cooking, helps strap all those tasty, natural juices inside leaving you with a moist, 
tender chicken breast that has less fat than a roasted skinless, boneless breast. But how? While roasting, the fat in the breast flows out and gets trapped in the skin. When the skin is removed after roasting, you are left with a leaner piece of meat that is more tender and more tasty than if it were roasted without the skin. You need to let your meat rest before serving. When it is finished cooking, just like a good steak, chicken needs to rest. The reason it needs to rest is because the juices need time to redistribute, otherwise it will just flow away, leaving you with a brown, overcooked piece of chicken. Another important thing to know is the residual heat will continue to cook your chicken after you've removed it from the grill or the pan. Once you have hit 165 degrees, stop the heat and let it rest for a few minutes before cutting, so the juices redistribute themselves back through the meat. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like, comment and subscribe.